beast. That doll you just picked up lets you manipulate anybody who's got nanomachines in them. Sounds like something the devil's cooked up, if you ask me. Mantis came from South America. She was born and raised in a country racked by never-ending civil wars. Her village was attacked by enemy forces and burned to the ground. This was when she was still a little girl. Hunted by enemy death squads, she was separated from her family. She barely managed to escape with her life. Ended up in the basement of this one building. It was full of corpses that had been dumped there. Almost all of them had been tortured to death. She was petrified with fear. And then, she heard the sound of heavy boots on the floor above her. Followed by shrieking screams. The kind that would make every hair on your body stand straight up. She had stumbled across a makeshift torture chamber. Somebody locked the door, and she was trapped. It was dark, it was dank, and it was full of a wretched stench. She couldn't sleep with the screams of torture victims all around her. All she could do was sit curled up in one corner of the room, trembling. A week passed, then ten days. She managed to keep hydrated by drinking the filthy water pooled up on the floor, but there was no food. Being trapped in that kind of place, half crazy from hunger, did a serious number on her mind. Did you know female mantises eat their mates? The screams went on day and night. She covered her ears, but it didn't help. And then, she was saved. By a little black mantis that taught her how to block out the screams, how to plug up her inner ears. What the hell are you talking about? I'm saying, Snake, that when she couldn't stand the hunger any longer, she started feeding on the corpses. But only the male ones. She didn't realize who was doing it. In her mind, it was a female mantis devouring her mates. It was like one big twisted waking dream. There was no mantis, of course. It was all a hallucination. Nothing more than some story spun by another person she'd created inside. Her unstable mind was what made her so vulnerable. Later, they ripped out what was left of her psyche with drugs and hypnosis and implanted the persona of Psycho Mantis. It wasn't her will that controlled the B&Bs. It was Psycho Mantis, half assimilated into her soul, pulling the strings. Screaming Mantis was just another puppet. Anyway, she survived several weeks down in that hellhole and finally got back to the surface. 
but the screams in her head didn't subside. They would always be with her, only this time, they weren't real. The inner earplugs didn't work anymore, the Black Mantis had disappeared. There was no place left to escape, which is why she was always screaming, to drown out the ones in her own head. But it's over now. You freed Mantis from that dark nightmare. Hmm. The last of the beasts. You got it, pal. Well, I'm done playing storyteller for a while. Now get going. GW is waiting. And this time, you get to make up the ending. Where's Johnny? Meryl! 
Johnny! Johnny, you're all right! Here. Huh. You trying to make up for being late? Meryl. I'll never leave you alone again. since Shadow Moses, when I first laid eyes on you. Meryl, marry me. You've got a hell of a sense of timing. What do you say? I have to say, no. You'd rather stay single? Okay, but we don't have to make it official. No. Well, how about we just move in together then? Nope. My pleasure. Wedding with flowers and a cake 